Whereas there is no vision, the people perish. Where there is no vision, the people perish. So for those of us who are truly his ambassadors in the workplace and in the marketplace, it's imperative that we have a God-given vision, a God-ordained vision around cultivating the culture of our organizations. Because your culture will be established by design or by default. The choice is yours. I'll say that again. Your culture will be established by design or by default. The choice is yours. And what I mean is that you may simply leave it to chance and default, or you may choose to be prayerful, intentional, diligent, strategic around positively impacting the culture of your organizations. And so I'm going to encourage you to take a latter approach, regardless of whether you are an individual contributor who may have no one reporting to you, or if you're leading an organization, we all have a responsibility for positively impacting the culture of our organizations. So I'd like to share with you three key steps for creating a God-honoring culture. Step number one, establish the foundation. Establish the foundation. The foundation for us as his ambassadors should always be love, because God is love. Step two, write the vision. Habakkuk 2, two says to write the vision and make it plain. So write the vision for how you feel the Holy Spirit is leading you to positively impact your culture. If you're leading a team, engage your colleagues. Write the vision. Engage, collaborate them. Write the vision for the God-honored culture that you want to put in place. And last but certainly not least, pray for wisdom. James 1 5 says that he gives wisdom to all who ask, and he gives it literally without reproach. So pray for wisdom in cultivating and executing your God on your culture. And here's what will happen. I see it time and time again with so many of my clients. When you begin to fervently pray, pray and get into alignment with God's plan for your organizational culture, some of you will have a Psalm 4610 experience where he's saying, be still and know that I am God. So for you, it's stay the course, stay stay. you're on the right track. For others, you will have an Isaiah 43, 19 experience where he's actually doing a new thing in and through you. It may be something that the organization has never seen. Your charge is to trust him and trust the process. But ladies and gentlemen, regardless of the path that he leads you on, it will always be a Romans 8 28 experience. Truly, all things work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose. Thank you and God bless you.